Okay, well, I'm Abby. I'm Brittany. Did you know that we're the No. <laughs> and we're going to college. And what are we here for? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yeah. Abby's the one that's, that's winning the argument of what they're doing or what they're wearing. When we bought these shoes, it was a huge argument. You can hear them like speaking right. in the bathroom, like, we're well, wearing yeah. this. No, we're not. We're going to wear this. Yeah. Britt's more like, oh, let's go with the flow, whatever. <laughs> They really choose to just have joy through all the situations. How would you do the highlight if you're a trophy? Traveling to her! Get it on right! I'll do some traveling after we graduate, so we might go to Europe. Yes! yes. Oh. oh, wow. There's so, so much, much uncertainty answer. about what's gonna happen. Just secured your first job interview. Woo. We don't really know if we'll get a job or where we'll get a job. It's an exciting time, but it's just super nerve-wracking also. If they want it, it doesn't matter that it's a challenge, they're going to go after it. My name's Abby Hensel, and I'm Brittany Hensel. We are 22 years old. People have been curious about us since we were born, for obvious reasons. We're identical twins who are conjoined. But our parents never let us use that as an excuse. While life as a conjoined twin sometimes has its challenges, I like this but I don't need it. We were raised to believe that we could do anything we wanted. So we do. We like to think that the most amazing thing about us is we're just like everyone else. We really are normal, but I'm definitely more normal than Brett. Whatever. Anyways, this is the story of our normal, regular life. Well, our normal, conjoined life. This is our life. Well, I'm Abby. I'm Brittany. Um, um, we are 22, and we are at Bethel, going to college. So this is our house. We have seven roommates. Um, it's always crazy. Always busy, but it's fun. These are our roommates. This is Katie, Allie, and Kayla. This is our wall of shame. Katie, it was Katie's idea to put this up so about everything shameful in our life. Kayla, we had a court date. <laughs> Mary Jo had a nice project that she was thinking fit. This is Allie's dad. We call it the Shout House um, because we're all very loud people and you're yep. never gonna have a Having quiet time in here. quiet at all. Yeah. We're so loud. Everybody, we're loud in general, but we're quiet compared to the I'm rest of our roommates. You can hear Kayla laugh from my room upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's loud, laughing. laughing, screaming, yelling, loud. We're loud. When they're the loudest is when they're coming down the stairs. <laughs> you can't let them wear heels or it's just too loud. Without fail. No. Nope. You sound like so four funny. people walking. Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. We did a documentary when we turned 16. And when we were 11. My name's Abigail LeBrad Hensel and Brittany Lee Hensel, and don't you dare say a thing about this. <laughs> so we've been on a couple shows. shows. Obviously, we've changed a lot in seven years, so it's a good to get an update. People still think we're 16. Um, and we're not. We are about to graduate. You don't know where you're gonna get a job. You don't know where you're gonna live. So we're trying to find as much hangout time with our friends as we can. Typically, we like to go out and um, get appetizers or something like that. Everybody in. We often just go as like a big group of us and our roommates and a couple other girls. <laughs> it's so fun, absolutely. We're always laughing about something, doing something stupid, crazy. All right, whoever likes to go first. Oh, oh pick me here, right, right here. here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Um, we will have chicken quesadilla. Chicken quesadilla, sounds good. And if there is, just focus on this in a second. Okay. <laughs> sure, we have chicken wings. Is that what you want to share? As friends, all of us are very protective of them. And when you hear people talking about them or people making comments about them, it's just we totally forget about it. Like, we don't see them as anything different than we are. It's a deal with extra right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you. Where can I put the fries? The buffalo wings. How hot are they? Sometimes the buffalo super hot. Well, we all shared meals that night, so um, typically when we go out, we just um, mm -hmm. pick a couple and have everybody, have everybody eat. But if we're sharing a meal, it's just too much food for just one of us to have eat our own plate. 
we just share because it's way too much food. So we just kind of pick what we both like to eat, so. Are you having trouble eating this? Yeah, that's How did you already eat two? You have to use I ate one. Oh, <laughs> okay, first of all, there's two mouths. I understand that. Second of all, both bones were in one wing. Okay. There's still things that we're figuring out about each of them just because there are so many things that they share and that they are so alike in. Um, I don't know all the specifics. They have two hearts, two sets of lungs, two stomachs, and then I think everything um, like below the waist is just one. Like They have one reproductive system, and Britt just controls the left side, and Abby controls the right side of the body. So would you ladies let me take a picture? Yes, please. It, it'd probably be a lot easier for me to do we it than one of you. love that. Act like your friends. When I first met them, I just thought, what is life like for them? Because it's, it's hard to, you know, put myself in their shoes. Now they're just a couple of girls. <laughs> Hi, ladies. This is dessert time. Yeah. This is pretty. Thank you. Hold on. This is pretty. I want to these marshmallows. What do you Here, want? eat that. I don't want it. Oh, I don't want that. I didn't touch it. So we got some fondue, and there was marshmallows there, and nobody ate the marshmallows, so then I decided to play Chubby Bunny by ourselves. I do kind of want to see this. <laughs> what? Say it. What? We got one. All right, come on. <laughs> okay, don't make them laugh, though. Chubby Bunny is where you take marshmallows and stick them in your mouth. <laughs> Every time you put a marshmallow in your mouth, you have to say chubby bunny. You got it, you got it. Uh, you have to go see how far you can go. You have a bigger mouth than that, keep going. No! Oh, oh, my oh, my gosh. Gosh. That's it! I'll try. Now somebody punch your cheeks real quick. <laughs> Wait, I have a serious Problem. question. How would you do the Heimlich if you were choking? Right here. Trial and error. Would I like, would I do the backslap? How many times do I choke? Yeah, you really do. There she goes. I know, but then, you know what's interesting? What? To stop myself, I sneeze. Stop myself. Yep. I sneeze. Follow. Oh, okay. Good. Oh. How's this all going? Oh, it's good. This, this is Josiah. Josiah. You guys? It's our friend. Josiah has been such a good friend um, over the four years we met him. We Josiah and us met the first day of freshman year, and he put hats on our heads and intimidated us pretty bad. I think we were scared of him, but now he's the best. No, you're not intimidated. No, I'm not intimidated. Not as much. I'm no. Like softy now. No, he's a big teddy bear. <laughs> he's definitely always there to um, bounce ideas <laughs> off of or give advice no. to. No, 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 no. Someone to hold us accountable and make good decisions, <laughs> and um, he's just a really good friend. Yep. So that's Josiah. Time to say. Do you feel better? Huh? Do you feel better? Yeah, okay. I'm getting there. Oh, good. good. They always want to live just like everyone else does, and I think that's part of what has helped it be so normal, is that there's no difference between them and any one of us. Hi, guys. They're by far the bravest girls I've ever met. Oh. Erin's one of our good friends. We met at college. Um, um, we've been friends with her since freshman year, actually. She's super great. She's just fun to be around, always has something fun to do. So she decided she wanted to throw us a birthday, birthday party. party. How do I do now? 22nd birthday party. Um, can I get a medium iced vanilla latte? And then, oh, please. And then, can I have a caramel iced latte? Sure, what size do you like? Medium. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> she just wanted to meet up for coffee and decide who we were going to invite okay. and what we were going to do. Oh, so, birthday so party. Birthday. Here we go. <laughs> we could have it at my house. Okay. Who should we invite? What? Your house? Mm -hmm. Tonight? Your, all your roommates? Your house. Our roommates? Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. I met Abby and Brittany at the end of our <laughs> freshman year. Now that we're at the end of college, we've definitely shared a lot of memories over the last few years and really gotten to know each other. And then what should we eat? Ice cream. Ice cream? Mm -hmm. you have an ice cream bar? We can get a bunch of toppings. Okay, perfect. Like chocolate and caramel? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. 
Um, our group of friends, we do a lot of things out. We go to a lot of concerts, games, shows, and it's amazing to me because everywhere that they go, they get the stares, they get the looks, they get the remarks generally, and I just don't know how they do that every day. I don't, is it warm enough for a bonfire? Yeah, it's warm absolutely. enough for a bonfire. Bonfire. Okay, that sounds good. so great. Okay, that sounds perfect. They always want to live just like everyone else does, and I think that's part of what has helped it be so normal is that there's no difference between them and any one of us. Like, they just do anything that anyone wants to do. Should we go get decorations now so we want to do it next week? Yep. Okay. Perfect. So we decided that it would be best to go to the party store right after coffee. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh. Yeah. caffeine affects us so, so much. much. Pretty gets rapid heart. I, get, I have like a super sensitive heart, and so like caffeine just like kind of kicks it. Um, one time in the um, winter, I had three different things of like caffeine, and I was literally I was like, hey, hey, everybody, let's go. <laughs> just shaking. It doesn't affect Abby though. Like her heart doesn't get rapid at all. I get like energy, but not, my, my heart doesn't race. All right, here we go. Erin had already set up a bunch of stuff at her house and got a bunch of different decorations and a pinata and stuff like that. So we decided to just go pick out a couple more streamers and a couple more balloons Blue. and some cups and bowls and stuff like that. Yeah. Did you get like Blue and yellow shirts. Yeah. One or two. Maybe one of these. One beach and Yeah. Up. What color? Um, and we got helium balloons and um, other balloons. So we got some cool swirly balloons. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Are we? Yeah. I feel like I have a very equal um, friendship and relationship with both Abby and Brittany, which I think is really cool because I've never felt like I'm closer to one or the other. I feel like I've really gotten to know both of their personalities and I can tell like when I'm talking to Abby versus when I'm talking to Brittany and like who wants to do what. There we are. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Oh and now they're dancing. Okay. Well Brittany's bossy and super sassy and she's the quiet one. I'm loving you. <laughs> I think that she's crazy but she is. <laughs> Generally, Abby's the louder one. He knows pretty well. Okay, so we need cake. Our house loves to cook. Yep, or bake. Bake, yep. What else? But we knew that um, party was going to be the next day. Okay, here's the chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. So chocolate chips. Katie decided to make a whole bunch of stuff. I butter. Oh, I have butter. Right, we I have butter. vanilla. I have butter and vanilla. vanilla. Okay. Do we have vanilla? No. Do we have vanilla? We use vanilla. I use vanilla. Who's ready for a sugar high? Okay, hey, peanut butter. Hey guys, this isn't the peanut butter either. No. Uh, peanut butter. Uh, really, yes. where's the peanut butter? We're gonna figure this out. Um, we went to a different grocery store, which is why we were so lost. Um, and that was just really crazy. Where's the peanut butter? It's actually around the corner by the bread section. Okay, thank you. When I think about me and my sister, I'm like, this would never work. It's funny because they're so different, but they can read each other's minds so well that even with how different they are, they always end up saying the same thing. And we have water. When you think about it, like you can finish your best friend's sentence and you're not around them your entire life 24 seven. And so it makes sense that they can just do that so easily. We are ready. Can we make white chocolate chips? They're a good team. Like that's, that's how I think of them. They really, like one thing I really admired about them is that they are two different girls, but yet they are able to work together to do like the basic functions that I do every day that I t take for granted. Puppy chow. chow is so good. It, um, it's rice cereal with um, um, peanut butter and chocolate, chocolate chips. chips. And then you melt those together and you mix them. And when it starts to cool, you put powdered sugar on it. It's so, so good. good. It's better when it's warm. Baker. Oh, and I have got the puppy chow. Awesome. And Ali got the cake. Look at my doggy. Huh? Look at my doggy. I need to be on. Oh, this is where the magic happened. We're very coordinated, and I feel like because we've learned together to be coordinated, well, I control the right side, and, and I control the left side. Everything's just easy and natural for us. That looks so good. That's great. You look 
like this? Can you? Yeah, I don't think you want to use the whole <laughs> stick. Did you? It's your bandit. I just up. <laughs> You're just cleaning the toilet. No. <laughs> I'm not using. There is a. I washed up. Okay. With soap. <laughs> no. Look at your hand. When it comes to decisions, we definitely compromise, compromise. obviously, because we, we have, have to, to all the time. Um, um, but we definitely take turns on things and it. what we want to do or, like, work it out where each of us is happy, happy and try to find a happy medium between things. Oh, you should hear them. They're, them fighting us. <laughs> it is so funny. I wake up sometimes in the morning, they're arguing Shut about what to wear. <laughs> they're similar, but there's just so many differences. It's kind of weird how different they are. Abby is definitely more outspoken. I have to go to coffee at 9 a.m. Abby's a little bit more type A, like, Brit, stay on task, gotta stay on task. Abby's the one that's that's winning the argument of what they're doing or what they're wearing. I wanna say high maintenance. Okay. But it's more like all ducks in a row and Brit's more like, oh, let's go with the flow, whatever. Well, Allie has the finished product of the puppy chow. Everybody mm -hmm. admire, admire. Abby is probably the more outgo, or loud one, but when it comes to doing stuff, she'd rather like, she's a homebody so, where I'd rather go out. Well, Brittany's bossy and super sassy and she's the quiet one and nobody thinks that she's crazy, but she is. <laughs> You're just a great friend, okay? Like me from the back. Baby, we does everything, <laughs> eyeliner. Brit is just a lot more um, funny and weird. Hi. She always has a little bit of attitude and it's just funny because she's just so cute and she's so small and you just wanna, She's just hilarious. Her reactions to things are a lot more laid back and like chill. Yeah, she d doesn't really say much until it needs to be said and then don't argue with her. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. They know us pretty well. Brittany always has a very warm heart, yeah. is how she describes <laughs> she's it. She's like, my heart is warm. <laughs> yeah, I just. You just say love it. us. Oh, so she's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. Say it. How do you feel about us uh, right, right now? You know, as we're all standing here together. I'm loving you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was kind of like that. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! We love birthdays in our friend group, so we wanted to celebrate them and celebrate all the things they always do for us on our birthdays, too. It's so good to see you! Want a frosted cake? Do you want like a for the butter party night? tonight? So, mm, it smells good. So, are you guys excited about the party night? Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be great to see all our friends. Friends and food. That's all we need. Friends and food. Yep. If we describe a party, I'd say it's gonna be lots of people, lots of food, loud, lots of pictures, music, lots pictures, of clumps of people everywhere. Mm. It's gonna mass, be loud. Mass chaos all the time. Yep. Pretty fun. Kitty, that looks beautiful. How's that? That, that looks just beautiful. beautiful. Okay, do you wanna sprinkle it? Do you wanna sprinkle it? Go for it. Okay. Hey, that looks great. Hey, thanks. Very even sprinkling. Oh, I didn't know this. Well, there we have it. There's our cake. And, and here's our cake. cake. <laughs> Happy birthday. Party. We decided to go early and help Aaron um, mm, decorate great. and put out food and decorations and just get everything ready and clean the house and stuff like that. <laughs> Aaron had a lot of stuff done already. Um, she had balloons and streamers and those little lanterns things. But we helped blow up balloons and get food mm -hmm. ready. Pizza's here. Oh. Guys, pizza's here. Yes, she's starving. So hungry right now. Cheese or pepperoni? So what do we have left to do? Oh. Did you guys get a drink? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. We need to decorate the cakes. Cake. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in frosting? Frosting. Yeah. Where are they? Yeah. Evan and Brittany. Stop. Who gets chocolate and who gets vanilla? Okay. Abby can have chocolate and Brittany can have vanilla. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we are.
Who can blow up the balloon the fastest? Ready? Set? Get a balloon! Oh, what do we have? Four no, wands! No, no. And tied. I just blown up. Well, do you think we can tie it with two hands? No, <laughs> one hand <laughs> Okay. okay, maybe you should be streamers too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? What's wrong with you? Yeah. You look like a mini baseball. It's That's it. as far as you got. Let's do it. Come off. Oh, shot. Oh, yeah. That made that. We love birthdays in our friend group, and so we wanted to celebrate them and celebrate all the things they always do for us on our birthdays, too. Okay, I made this, so everyone who has, like, So we just wanted to have some people over, have some fun, and just celebrate the big 22nd birthday. Yeah, Aaron always has super, super big parties. Big. So different friends from everywhere came. Hey guys, how are you? My favorite part is when I'm talking to them, they'll finish each other's sentences. Exactly. It's, un it's actually unbelievable. They both know what they're thinking and what they're gonna say. And I think it's it's awesome and it makes me smile every time I do it. I'm German and French and Polish and Canadian. Um, we had a lot of food and Pizza, pizza, and we had an ice cream bar that people could come and get ice cream with and then sprinkle different toppings mm -hmm. on. We had a dancing game at, that we wanted to play on the game system. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was quite fun, weird. <laughs> Nobody did it except me. I made a fool of myself. <laughs> Yeah, we have such a great group of friends, and so everybody kind of shows up to everybody's birthday parties just to like support them, and we have a good group of friends. I really admire their relationship. I think it's beautiful how they they're really supportive of one another, and. I mean, maybe they don't have a choice, but I believe that they do. They can choose their attitude towards life and how they face it. And I just, like, they're the epitome of teamwork and, like, love and respect. Fun. So much fun. It's a good night. So, super success. Okay, bye. Love you. Thank you so much. In the next couple weeks, we're going to kind of just basically get graduation, moving out of our house, our college house. There's so much uncertainty about where you're going to be after graduation. Um, you don't know where you're going to live or if you're, if you're going to get a job. But it's also exciting because you get a new chance for everything. So we'll see what comes.